David talking to Nathan cannot be a good thing. This has something to do with Kate or Rachel. Don't try to take it from me. It's mine. I wouldn't dream of it. I'm gonna be a millionaire. Hope nobody steals my lottery. Talk about going back in time. The diner looks exactly the same. The smell of breakfast and the sound of clanging silverware mm, makes me feel 13 again. That graffiti has been here forever. Thank you, redneck poet.
Uh, hello? Pardon moi, but you're in my eyesight. Oh, sorry. That's okay. I just need to see my truck out there in the lot. Been a long night in the road, and I have to make sure my baby is sleeping right. What's up, Justin? Getting my coffee on before I cut class and destroy some rails. Shouldn't you be taking photos? I am always taking photos. I am a camera. <laughs> you cracked me up, Maxer. Of course I'm baked. So I'll laugh at anything. You should be studying, bad boy. So where's all your homework, schoolgirl? School? Speaking of buds, I saw your bro Trevor sneaking out of Dana's room. Trevor finally told me about him and Dana hooking up. He got there first, so I snooze and I lose. See you later, Max. Trevor looks as happy as Dana did. And there she is. Lovely young woman. How are you doing, Max? Hi, Joyce. It's nice to see you again. You look the same. <laughs> like I'm still a waitress at Two Whales after all these years. No, like you still look pretty. Nice save, kid. You're still smart. But not that smart. Now you get busted for smoking pot. <laughs> I heard the whole sordid story from David. I'm sorry this was how you had to meet him. He's a good man, no matter what Chloe says. Yeah, I'm sure. I don't even smoke, like, ever. It was almost an accident. It was very stupid. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, it surprised me fierce. I was hoping you could be a good influence in her life now. I will be. Promise. I know things were hard for you and Chloe. I feel bad I didn't call... Now my folks are in Seattle, and I'm all alone at Blackwell. It's my karma. You did the right thing. You moved forward with your life. I did, after William passed on. Chloe? Chloe chose to stay angry. Anyway, I hope we see more of you. Chloe needs an old friend again. Joyce, I am so sorry about William. I have great memories of him. I'm glad, Max. That was his gift to us. Wonderful memories. Even if Chloe doesn't understand yet. Chloe must have changed a lot during that time. Oh, she hit all the phases. Expulsion, running away, drugs, bad boys, tattoos, piercings, blue hair. <laughs> now she's got to rebel against her stepfather. I see why, I mean. Do you? He's not as much of a hard ass as you think. But you did tell him you had a joint, right? You took that responsibility? David scared me when he said he might have my scholarship taken away for that stupid joint. Nobody's in trouble over a doobie, Max. And I admire that you took the heat for Chloe. Like a great friend. But Chloe does push David, and it's not fair. He paid his dues in a war. He does care about her, along with all the students at Blackwell. I get it, Joyce. I know Chloe still likes to stir things up. Yeah, she does provoke people, especially David. I just want us to be a family soon. I guess it's all about time. I think you're right, Joyce. So, now let's get down to the nitty gritty. What do you want to eat? The last good Belgian waffle I had was here when I was 13 years old. So, bring it on. Now finish your coffee. One Belgian waffle for the hungry girl. Pronto. The only thing that's changed on the menu are the prices. 
So? One Belgian waffle at 12 o'clock high. The lighthouse looks so mysterious. I wish I could stay in this moment forever. I guess I actually can now. But then it wouldn't be a moment. Can I get some beer and bacon before I die? This is a diner. This is like fourth dimensional deja vu. I keep going back in time. Stick with bacon. No beer? What, what kind of dive is this? Nerd graffiti. Warren must have been here. I can hear your stomach rumbling from here, Max. Here, you'll love this. I'm drooling like a baby. Still can't believe you're a woman. When I look at pictures of Chloe, ah. Uh, Speak of the devil. Mom and Max, together again. And Chloe looking for a free meal. You put your whole damn college fund on your tab. I'm treating Chloe for breakfast. Are you atoning for yesterday? Oh, God, Mom, please do not give Max any shit for that. She apologized. I know she did. Max is a good girl. A woman. She's 18 now. Too old to get lectures from you or Sergeant Pepper. Call him David if you don't want to be lectured. You only get one damn slice of bacon a day. You guys are still the same. Another reason to blow this town? What is this shit on the jukebox? Now that that's out of the way... Let's talk about your superpower. I don't have any explanation, and I can't explain why I saw that crazy fucking tornado. Come on, that's just a daydream. I want proof you can rewind time. This is all happening so fast. We'll start slow. Right here, now. Mm, I can tell you every single thing you have in your pockets. You have x-ray vision, dude? I don't even know what's in my pockets. Let me see. Okay, Max. Impress me. I don't know. Do you have some kind of power or not? Okay, psychic girl. Let me show you what's actually in my pockets. That was beyond epic fail. You even made me want to believe you. Okay, Max. Study every item carefully and don't forget anything. So, this is me telling you what's inside your pockets. Okay, Max. I'm hella ready. I'm pretty sure you have cigarettes on you. Yes, you know I'm a smoker. But how many cigarettes? Seven cigarettes. A superpower that allows you to count cigarettes. Cool. Amazing. Something else in my pockets? Your car keys. Duh, way too easy. I need details. Describe my keychain. A cute robot panda keychain. Not bad, Super Max. You do have that Irish luck, Caulfield. What else? A parking ticket. You know me well. But what is the exact time I was busted? 10.34 a.m. Booyah! Max can tell time! Even a broken clock is right twice a day. Whatever the hell that means. Hmm. Some money. Clearly I'm rich as fuck. How much do I have? 86 cents. That's right, living large in Arcadia Bay. Amaze 
balls. I literally just got chills all over my neck. You have powers. I'll take that crap off the table, Chloe. Sure, Mom. How's the food, Max? Better than I remembered. Very good save. Man, I'm hungry like the wolf. Clearly. I am freaking out about what just happened. You, you have to show me more. Something way cooler so I will believe you without any doubt. I will predict the future. No way! Now, pay attention to everything that happens in the next few moments, so you can dazzle Chloe with your mad power. Oops! Did you break another cup? Really? No refill for you. Shh! And now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You're a dick! Don't slap me, bitch! Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. That's the best song I've ever This is yet. sure the hell better than that other garbage. I think our jukebox is headed for Davy Jones's locker. So, what are you waiting for? I'm going to predict four events that will happen in the next 30 seconds or so. The trucker drops his mug and Joyce rips him a new one. So what happens next? The cop gets an emergency alert on his radio and his partner in the car leaves without him. Well, let's just see how this goes down. Justin and Trevor are fighting and Joyce breaks it up. This is getting good. Can't wait to see what happens. The jukebox goes crazy as a cockroach crawls on it. Pretty bizarro, Max. But let's see if everything happens like you said. Oops. Did you break another cup? Oh, wait really? Go, Mom. No refill for you. Shh. Now I gotta take this call and leave my breakfast. Hey, where is my partner? You called it. And he's off to go bust some skaters. You're a dick. Don't slap me, bitch. Take your fight club outside. He started it. I'm finishing it. Trevor and Justin must be in love. You predicted a cockroach on the jukebox? I pledge allegiance to Max and the power for which she stands. This isn't a toy, Chloe. I do have to be careful how I use it. Screw that! Of course it's a toy! The best toy ever? You can bang anyone with no strings attached, rewind time, and boom! It's like it never happened! Grow up. Maybe you made a move on me and I would never know. Yes, that's what I did. You can rewind time, Max. That's fucking insane. We have to play. I don't have time. You did not just say that. Uh, check out your nose. Too much blow? Hey, are you okay? Too much excitement. See what happens when we hook up again? Then, let's go to one of my secret lairs and fully test your power. You need a sidekick to guide you. Okay, girl wonder. Show me the way to Chloe's cave. Drool. Want everything. <laughs> Forgot about the fishing wall of fame. Whoa, Ken Kesey with Joyce? That's so perfect. I think I'm ready for thirds. But you're only on your first. 
Okay, Last Supergirl, let's Wednesday. go to my secret place. Don't even answer. Yeah, places to go and people to do. Come on, before Mom starts some more shit, let's bail. It's Kate Marsh from Blackwell. Big whoop. You don't call me once in five years and now you're all over some biatch you see every day at school? I see how you roll. So go ahead, chat up Kate Marsh from Blackwell. I've got other people to hang out with too. Hey Kate, what's up? Please, don't let your best friend get in the way. You okay? I promise, Kate. I won't forget. I swear. Just do your homework and don't stress. I really don't think we should go into this right now. I'll call you later, okay? Thanks, Max. If you'd rather chill with Kate, please, go ahead. You are ridiculous. I'm chilling with you, okay? For now. Let's rock. Sucks that Chloe and Joyce got into an argument. are you going to get pissed at me this week? That depends on you, and how well you do in this phase of the test. Welcome to American Rust, my home away from hell. Raw and rough. It suits you. Max, do you know how awesome this is? I get my best friend back, and she's also supersized? We don't know for how long. Exactly why it's time to have fun. Are you kidding? After yesterday, I'm kind of over guns, Chloe. <sighs> Freaks me out that you have one. Don't you trust me? Yes, but not that gun. You have more power than an army. Don't be scared of my little toy. Besides, we need it for the test. Drink? Yuck. <laughs> you are so cute. You haven't changed a bit. Okay, let's do this. Can you find five bottles while I prep the shooting range? Beer and guns? <laughs> Nice combo. You can handle it. Now go find us five bottles, pretty please. It's hard to believe that was once on the road, filled with dozens of students. Look what we have here. A cute little bottle for the taking. <sighs> Stupid bottle. Hello, bottle number one. Four more to go. This is the scariest thing here. Boom, only three bottles left. Looks exactly like the same dough from my tornado vision. That dough is the perfect photo op.
I'm sure this is a popular party pit. Three down, two more to go. Talk about finding a bottle in a haystack. Thanks for the tip. This looks like a graffiti museum for Chloe and Rachel. I bet I can find out more about Rachel here. One more bottle to go. I want to die. Who wrote this? Ouch. So Rachel did go to a Vortex Club party. This flyer is dated right before she disappeared. Now we're officially a trio. We just have to find Rachel. Rachel songs. I wonder if Chloe would ever make me a mixtape. I can't see Chloe playing with makeup. That kind of hurts. They really were besties. That could have been me instead of Rachel. Oh, gross. So disturbing to see old syringes on the ground. Those shells look fresh. Where there's a boat, there's a pirate, which means booze bottles. Way heavier than I thought. Ugh. Voila, now I can deliver this bottle booty to Captain Chloe. Although this junkyard is a dive, I see why Chloe hangs here. She's a steampunk. It actually feels like Chloe and I are kids again. We're hiding out and plotting our future. Despite all the chaos and bullshit, I feel so giddy hanging out with her again. So happy. Like we've both gone back in time. No way! I totally remember going there when I was a kid. I loved the Hush Puppies. Now the sign is just Arcadia Bay junk.
That's my Chloe. Thanks, Max. Wait, one more for the road. You're serious about this. We're gonna shoot all these bottles without wasting a single bullet. Max, you have to help me aim. Show me the way, Max. I need to see you shoot first. Show me the way, Max. Aim a bit to the right. Sir, yes, sir. Oh, yes! Did you see that shit, Max? Duh. That was so fucking cool. Now for the second bottle. Now, Max, where do I aim? You're on target. Pull the trigger. Now, Max, where do I aim? Aim slightly above. Right between the eyes. Watch out, Nathan. Now that is fun. Let's pump up the volume and find me another target. I want to get creative here. Give me something to shoot, Max. Let's take out this wheel rim on your left. Taking out the wheel rim now? Hella yes! Nice shooting, Tech. Now that's what I'm talking about. Satisfied? <laughs> like, never. So I want one more uber cool trick shot. How about using that junker for a target now? Dude, I... How about aiming for the left tire? Adios, spinning wheel of death. Uber cool. I cannot believe this is for reals. My best friend is a superhero! Now it's your turn to bust a cap. I don't know. Max, your nose. Damn. I don't feel so super. Max! You freaked me out there. Do you feel any better now? A little. Thanks for helping me. Just give me a minute. Too much action for Arcadia? Maybe not enough. This is kind of fun. Scary and stupid, but fun. Let me know when you feel okay. God, this power really messes with my head. I'm glad I feel normal again. I better go chat up Chloe. <laughs> Look at her. Chloe can even chill out playing with a gun. Okay, looks like you're ready to lock and load. I don't know about this. Are you afraid of getting in trouble? Oh, boo-hoo, Max is afraid. I know you can handle this, and I'm here to guide you. Make me proud, sister. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. Or is it Bonnie and Clyde? Excuse us, Frank. Oh, sorry, Chloe. Don't let me get in the way of your bonding. I heard the gunshots and the breaking glass. It's cute that you're playing with guns. Just like me at your age. We're not anything alike, man. We both need money. 
In fact, you need it so bad, you owe me a shitload, don't you, Chloe? Huh? You'll get your money. Don't they all say that? You know, even when they're broke and acting tough? What are you hiding there, girly? Let me see. Where did you get that bracelet? A friend, and it's none of your goddamn business. You're my business now, That's and I... Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. No, it wasn't. You stole that shit. Give it to me right now, asshole. You better step back before you regret it, girl. I mean it. You want me to cut you, bitch? Please. Please, step back. You're kidding. Put that down. Come on, girly. Shoot me. Ah, oh, Christ. You're more like Abbott and Costello. Nice piece. I'll consider this interest on your loan. Thanks. You have until Friday to pay me, or I'll track you down with this interest. Have a good play, kids. You really stood your ground. I freaked. I don't like guns. It'll be hard to keep Nathan off my ass. My step shit will have his other gun sealed in an electrified bunker by now. Sorry, Chloe. I've never held a gun on a human being before. Not cool. I know, Max. Really. I'm actually relieved it worked out this way instead. And there are more guns out there. Let's blow. My secret lair didn't feel secret today. At least Frank is gone. He won't fuck with us again. He just wants his money. Oh, man. Frank took Chloe's gun because of me. Wow, sir. Why did Frank have Rachel's bracelet? We need to talk about this later, but I better follow Chloe now. Chloe's waiting to go for a walk. We both need a timeout from here. <laughs> <laughs> 